I made a video a few weeks ago about how Falcons general manager Terry Fontenot was on the NFL report on Thursday nights and has said that he has kept his eye on Bears quarterback Justin Fields when they didn't land him in the draft a few years ago. And according to NBC Sports Chicago, the Falcons have contacted the Chicago Bears about Justin Fields becoming the number one team to emerge for him on Bears Talk by NBC Sports Chicago. You thought this offseason started getting crazy. Oh, it's just getting started, guys. It's going to get a lot crazy over the next couple of weeks. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Dick Rohde, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Today, I am going to run through the trade package that might happen for Justin Fields if Chicago trades him to Atlanta. And before I begin, if you will follow Justin Fields like myself and be a fan of him no matter where he goes, like myself, make sure to hit the like button on this video to show how much support Justin Fields truly has from a Chicago Bears fan base along with commenting the trade package you would like to receive from the Atlanta Falcons for Fields. Yes, it may happen, guys. I don't want it to. None of us do, but it is what it is. The NFL's a business and it sucks. There is no denial about that. I hope Fields stays, but if it, this is it, he was put in a bad situation and he will be going off to another team. And I will wish him the best of luck and support him wherever he goes. So the Falcons are the team calling the Chicago Bears about Fields. Let's go into their situation. The Falcons have some decent cap right now, roughly about $42 million coming off a 7-10 and season, which they fell apart at the end where they did look promising if they had a quarterback and Atlanta needs one badly. They're sitting at number eight right now, which isn't going to get them a top talent, but why not get a veteran that can plug and play right away into Zach Robinson? Robinson's offense. Zach Robinson is the new offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, by the way. Atlanta currently has a number 8, 43, 74, 79, 110, 142, and 199 picks. Bears only have six picks at the moment to be in the top 10, but they have a lot of areas of need they need to address. And if they use that number one pick on a guy like Caleb Williams, they are going to have to get more picks. So the first trade package I'm going to go through today, and it is the more realistic one, similar to what the Carolina Panthers sent to the New York Jets in order to get Sam Darnold a few years back. I got Atlanta getting Justin Fields straight up for the number 43 and the number 74 picks. Atlanta is now making it publicly known that they want Justin Fields. Poles can use that as leverage. Other teams are going to be calling saying like, hey, we're going to offer this. Atlanta's going to have to offer up more now. Also, Atlanta is a quarterback away from being a contender. That's my opinion. It seems like it to be a lot of opinions of the NFL as well. And getting Fields, a veteran, on his contract of his rookie contract for one more year, along with a fifth-year option, is huge based on cap reasons for Atlanta. That would be awesome. And again, I mentioned Zach Robinson is their new offensive coordinator from the LA Rams, Sean coming from the Sean McVay coaching tree, could be good and unlock Justin Fields. But overall, this answers Atlanta's need for a starting quarterback, and this answers Chicago's need for getting a second round pick and another mid round in the third. But I got another trade package that I'm excited to go through. And before I get into that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. Today's show is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University's online sports management program. Program, whether you want to learn about business or and economics of sports or sports management as a whole, Southern New Hampshire University gives you the chance to extend your knowledge into a variety of areas in sports. Go to the link in my description in order to learn more and make sure you sign up for their email chain to learn all about what they have to offer. All you have to do is give your email information. It's super simple. Make sure you guys go and do that you're not going to regret it because you can be put in a position like me. So let's go into the second trade package. This one, I was a little crazy. The trade that would go down would be Justin Fields would go to the Atlanta Falcons, but we would send them the number nine pick. Chicago then would get the number eight pick moving up one spot, still getting the 43rd, so getting a second, but moving back a little bit in the third, getting the 79 pick that they have from the Jaguars. It's similar in the same case, but hear me out. Atlanta was going to give up a second and third anyway in my world at least, right? So they're all moving back now five spots from the original spot, and they're only moving back one spot in the first round, but they still are getting Justin Fields. We are still getting what we were gonna get in the original trade package just with a trade up and trading back in the third. So I think it makes sense and I think it's very fair. But I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on it. This was a lot of fun. I mean, guys, things are gonna get crazy. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button with notifications as I will have all news up to date for you guys. And as always, thank you for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year's Chicago. My name is Dick Rohde, and as always, bear down, baby.